Thank you very much. I'm Babu Oweno, Member of Parliament and Bakasi East Constituency. I would like to talk about uh, the Kenya School of Law Act that we are about to amend. And today we are at the Budget Committee because it has a, a financial implication. And the financial implication is that we want to devolve different institutions to be in a position to offer the ATP, the Advocates Training Program, uh, in various institutions and that way jobs will be created that way Kenyans at least will be advantaged because there will be more lecturers there will be more support staff and also students will not be congesting at the Kenya School of Law alone and in addition to that I want to tell Kenyans that we are already working on an amendment of the Kenya School of Law Act 2014 which stated clearly in uh, section uh, in uh, schedule 2 section 16 that one cannot be admitted at the Kenya School of Law so long as this student scored a B plane and above in English and a B plane and above in Kiswahili and a minimum of C plus in KCSE that contradicts the Legal Education Act, Section 8.3c, which allows for career progression. It states that so long as you are progressing, if you did a diploma in law, progressed to do a degree certificate in law, master's and PhD, but if you did up to a maximum of a degree certificate, which is a minimum requirement for one to join Kenya School of Law, then one can be admitted. So we have two acts which are contradicting, and in case of any contradiction, the Legal Education Act is clear that it is superior to the Kenya School of Law Act. Therefore, if a student is admitted to study LLB law degree in any recognized university in Kenya, this student should be admitted to Kenya School of Law because one cannot be an advocate of the High Court of Kenya if this person is not in the advocate's role. And this person must have gone through the Kenya School of Law, must have done the legal education, the council, the CLE exams, that is the legal uh, council for legal education exams. But we are in a situation whereby a student graduates from the university, even if you've graduated with first class honors, went further and did masters, went further and, and, and did PhD, then you are still told that if you didn't score a B plane in English or a B plane in Kiswahili, then you cannot join the Kenya School of Law. You cannot be a lawyer. It means that your dream has been crushed. The dream of being an advocate has been crushed. Going by the doctrine of legitimate expectation, by the fact that you have been admitted at the university to study law, which will take four years of your time to get the degree, then after that, you are being told that you cannot join Kenya School of Law. Going by the doctrine of the legitimate expectation, it is an automatic thing that you should go and further your education, do your diploma course at the Kenya School of Law. But if you reach there, the Kenya School of Law tells you no, because you, have, you don't have a B plan in Kiswahili and you don't have a B plan in English, then we cannot admit you. That is totally wrong. That is to totally uh, regressive and we cannot allow it. We are going to amend that and uh, as we speak we've advanced today we are at the budget committee looking at the financial implication of that and we've already seen that the financial implication can be two can be an expenditure and can be a revenue and in this case this is going to be to be a revenue it's going to generate income uh, 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 to the government even to kenya school of law itself by providing jobs to other kenyans and so, we as members of parliament, we don't want a student who finishes his or her degree
to remain at home, not to advance his or her dream, just because there is an ambig ambiguity in law, just because Kenya School of Law cannot admit you. And yet Kenya School of Law is only providing a diploma course. So between a degree course and a diploma course, what is important? Definitely it is a degree course that you gain from the university, any recognized university in Kenya. And Kenya School of Law thus offering a diploma course should accept. Because the moment this student was called at the university, the student knew very well that he or she was going to be admitted as an, as an advocate. So I think it is very unfair to our children. It is going to affect us and we always promote education and the moment we block these students from, uh, uh, from, from pursuing their dreams, then we are killing. We are killing very prominent people in this country. As Babu Owino, I really need so many lawyers. You all know I have so many cases. Therefore, these students must be admitted. Once you are admitted, do not forget about me as comrades. You know I need many advocates behind me. 5,000 Kenyans who have not been admitted at the Kenya School of Law just because they did not get a B-plane in English nor did not get a B-plane in Kiswahili. And that number is so huge. Those students are just walking around. They don't have hope. So many of them are, be, are depressed. So many of them told me that they are willing to even commit suicide but they don't even have money to buy ropes to hang themselves. So we are not going to tolerate this.